Hello, my name is Amanda Cawthon. I'm one of the librarians here at Pflugerville Library and I brought some books to show you today that you can check out here at the library that I would recommend. So first for our younger readers, I've got Croc and Allie, Friends Forever. This is by Derek Anderson. This book is a really sweet book uh, for kiddos about a pair of friends that are very much, you know, the, uh, you know, one kind of grumpy friend here, Croc, and the happy-go-lucky guy, Allie and um, they're very sweet and it's a nice book about friendship and sharing and how sometimes you don't always feel the exact same as your friend but it doesn't mean you can't be friends and get along and care about each other and this book is great for parents to read to little ones and also for kiddos that are practicing to read this is a nice pick so if you have kiddos that are um, needing a nice sweet book to practice reading this is a great one got wonderful illustrations and nice big simple text. Now for our readers that are a little bit further along into chapter books, we've got this great book here, JD and the Great Barber Battle. This is by Jay Dillard with illustrations by Akeem S. Roberts. And I just finished reading this book and it is so good. Um, I love this book. So in this book, JD um, gets his first haircut. It's tradition in his family that they don't get their haircut until uh, they're nine years old. So he gets his first haircut and his mom does it and it does not come out as good as he would have hoped. And so after a few days of embarrassment at school, he decides to uh, try cutting his own hair and it turns out he really has an amazing talent at it. And so he sets up shop, uh, a little business uh, cutting his friend's hair and he discovers he's really awesome at it and um there's a problem though is that there is a professional barber in town that does not appreciate the competition he has with jd so you got to read this book to find out what happens and who wins the barber battle next up I've got History Smashers, Pearl Harbor. Now, full disclosure, I have not read this one. I read the History Smashers Mayflower book, also by Kate Messner, with illustrations by Dylan McInnes. Um, and the Mayflower one was awesome. It was so well written. It's just really interesting because it takes what we, um, a lot of uh, facts that we just take as, um, well, myths, I guess I should say, that we take as fact, but really aren't, you know, details that have been kind of changed over time and stuff and passed down and it kind of becomes folklore. And so it kind of corrects a lot of that stuff and tells you what really happened with the Mayflower. So I haven't read this one yet, but it takes the same style. Uh, these comic strips in here, there's photographs. And all sorts of information and um, it takes a very informal tone when kids are reading it so it makes it really interesting um, to, to read it makes a really quick read so um, kids that maybe don't normally enjoy nonfiction will still love this and kids that love nonfiction are gonna absolutely fall in love with this and the last book I brought is Ordinary Girls. This is by Blair Thornburg. And I would recommend this book to fans. This is a YA book, so it's for our teen readers. And I would recommend this to fans of Little Women. Um, it's about a pair of sisters that are very different, much like Croc and Alley. Um, and uh, one of them is very dramatic, the other one is not, so it's a little bit of sense and sensibility. Um, so really, if you like any of that historical fiction, I would go for this. So try out Ordinary Girls by Blair Thornburg. Hope you enjoy these books. Check them out at the Pflugerville Public Library.